Welcome. We need to tab. But first of all, I need to show you what a tab is. It is this kind of random space in between an area, as I'm pointing on here now. And then we can actually define where it ends with this random space. But first of all, I'll just do a thought example. I just take my zoom tool here and then let's zoom closer. I take my text tool here, draw a text box, and then we got Batman and he's in category A and uh, let's say he's from 1969. Then we got Iron Man and he's category B and he is from 2062. And then we got Wonder. Whoops. Let's go back here. Wonder Woman. She's category C and she's from 1956 or whatever. And I use the tab key for inserting this white space I got here. And the tab key is that key just on top of caps lock, the tab. On PCs, it's named tab. On Mac, it's just this arrow with a line on it. But I would like to define the space I got here because it's just random space. If I go up here and show my hidden characters, I can see I got the symbol for tab. So how do I define it? I go up here in my tab menu and here it goes for the tabs menu. Look, it just glued to my text frame beautifully because I was actually inside my text frame. Now this one works on the line I'm standing in. It only works on this line because I had a blinking cursor in here. I would like it to work on the whole text box. I take my selection tool here and now I have selected all my uh, the whole text frame I got here. And now I'd like to define my tab stops because A, B, C should be on top of each other. So I just go up here and then I click on the gray line up here. Click and here I have defined my first stop. Look, A, B, C just go on top of each other. This is left aligned. I would like my tab stop to become centered. I have it selected. I go over here and click on my centered. Hmm, easy. Then I can also move it a little bit. And if I click on the side, I create another one. I don't want to do that, so I just take this one and drag it outside and release it, and it's gone. Then I need to define my next tab stop. It should be around here. And now all my numbers goes in over here. This could be right aligned. Or maybe I would like it to be aligned on a certain number. It could be, for instance, that I got the number of six here, if I want it to be aligned on them. Then I choose number four over here because that can be aligned on a special character. That's because I got this align on option here. So this one is usually a comma or a punctuum or something like that. But I can also just set in a number while I have this one selected. And then when I change focus by just clicking somewhere else, it's now aligned on the number of six. Hmm, okay. I do not want this in this case, so I just want it to be left aligned. And look, it's all the text that actually moves because I have selected the whole text frame. If I double click, so I stand in here on Iron Man and I move this one, then it's only Iron Man I'm actually working at. And if I then select Wonder Woman and Iron Man, what a team then i have two tab stops in here and they're not aligned so i want to kind of get rid of one of them and i can take this one and put it away and then this one is working for both of them but now i'm not synchronized so i just select all my text and say oh i got two tab stops two definitions for this one so i just take that one away and then i can move this around if i want to so there's a very big difference in if you have selected text or if you just have the whole text frame itself. You need to be aware of that difference. Then I would like to have some uh, a leader, some small dots going from Batman to A and from Iron Man to B and Wonder Woman to C. I select my tab stop here and up here I have a leader and the leader should be 
K. I change focus and I got a lot of Ks. Okay, that is not beautiful. Maybe I should just say that as a punctuation. Ah, and then I would like a punctuation over here or maybe an underscore like that one. Ah, or for the space. Ah, or just the dots. So you can actually toss whatever into your leader to configure your um, leader. This is the basics of tabs. When I move this around and I would like to kind of do some more tap dance on this uh, text frame, then the tap ruler is kind of flying around and I got a magnet here. If I have an active text frame and I click on the magnet, it will glue on. Unless I just move my paper a little bit to like here and I would like it to kind of magnetize and it doesn't work because InDesign is very polite doesn't want to hide something and this one will actually hide some rulers and some menus up here because it's too close to my control bar now so suddenly the magnet doesn't work so I actually need to be a little bit away before the magnet works now you know when it works and when it doesn't work if I want to clear all my tab stops I can go up in the mini menu here and I say clear all well, it's quite easy to work with select the tab stop in this very small gray area and move it around unselected text or the whole text frame the basics of this one now i just close this tab ruler and i don't want to have this one take my selection tool and delete that one now i choose this one down here and i would like to move up a little bit i take my hand tool move up a little bit and then i want to connect with my tabs so i can all have all these standing out here I go to my tab menu, go to tabs, it glues on, lots of space, and I say, oh, I want right aligned here. So I click on the right justify tab, go over here, so around there. I would like a leader. It works. I take my hand tool and have a little walkthrough. I go, oh no, there's no one down here with the fermented pears, squid and funnel with onion and fermented pears. Wow. Uh, I need to insert a tab here because that was actually missing. I take my text tool and select my space and replace it with a tab from the keyboard. Then I need to move further down. I select my hand tool, go further down and say, oh, there's another one here. Take my text tool. Boom. Oh, that's why it's actually a punctuation that I don't need. I just delete that one. Um, so that is quite beautiful and look it also took all of my punctuation my leader actually just came in because that was stored in my tab stop very efficient now I'd like to see the whole page I go into this one and say fit page and window I got perfect tabs all around now I'm ready to style my stuff and I do not want my tab ruler anymore so I close it down now I'm ready for styles that is next lesson. Now it's your turn to do this. Good luck.